I think I asked Quinta about trending. She told me one day, you're trending, Stan. I'm like, well, okay, <laughs> you know, what does that mean? What they don't know about the cast is that they teach me. I'm the oldest guy in the room, but I learn from them every day. They're all such amazing actors, and they're all so committed to what they do that you would think that I would be the, the teacher, but because of social media and, and everything, I learn something new every day from them. I saw the Negro Ensemble Company do a play. It was back in uh, like 68, I think, 1968 that I saw it. I was a senior in high school. And I think that's stuck with me more than anything else. And I'd never seen that many African-Americans on stage at one time, but I knew that that's what I wanted to do with the rest of my life. Sorry, I just, I thought that, you know. But then I've been a custodian my whole life. No, man, I worked as a pipe fitter, a minor league baseball bunting coach, a tastefully nude model, sold RVs for summer. I'm pretty much predictable, you know, Mr. Johnson is not, and I'm learning from him not to be so predictable. The plot thickens. To be patient and to not waste time and to enjoy the ride. So it's, it was uh, two, three, uh, 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 then we, Locked our fingers and we butterflied all the way up. And I think we did this at the end, something like, and I walked away. Yeah. Chris was here, we could do it because when once we start, it's kind of automatic. But he made that up. I, I started the first part, but he said, no, let's try this. And it was so funny. From the very first episode, the Illuminati is written on the board. <laughs> and uh that's who runs the world, kids. In the meantime, Mr. Johnson will be watching her class. Wait, so Mr. Johnson, the janitor? That's who runs the world, kids. The sweet baby Jesus moment in the first uh, season made everyone break. And, sweet you know, baby Jesus and the grown one too. My desks have been desks. I could not stop laughing because I didn't expect that from her. She's so refined and sophisticated. All right. Interesting. <laughs> my grandmother was the nosiest woman I ever met in my life. She knew everything. She was filterless. My brothers and I were coming. She, her, her first greeting would be, what y'all want? <laughs> what y'all want? You know, <laughs> but that was her the way of like, you know, I got my eye on you, you know. I know your plan. Move it along. That face don't work on me. I think I asked Quinta about trending. She told me one day after the first episode of this season, you're trending, Stan. And I'm like, well, okay, <laughs> you know, what does that mean? If I don't know something, I try to inquire about it because I want to be, I, I want to be in the know. I've been refreshing all my feeds and we're in the clear. There's no way the kids know about this. You sure about that? By the end of the week, I will get the Abbott Elementary Gym. It's chaos out there, man. And you're only making my job harder. Do as much theater as possible. Film and television make you famous, but theater makes you great. Theater makes you good. Theater makes you a real grounded actor. Find a good group of actors that you can work with. Preferably actors that are better than you. Actors that you can learn from. And that's what I would tell young actors, that this is not an overnight uh, success story and to be patient.